trying a different routine today. I'm gonna clean up the brush from this white oak. There's that infamous spill from the Oakey Woodsman. I would run my 545 in a few months, a couple months maybe. I'm trying something new. If you're working with people or in a dangerous area where you need to hear a little bit, I would not wear these. But I'm going to try out my 3M. I think they're called Work Tunes. In fact, I'm listening to music right now. I have it actually paired to a an Android phone over near my house, simulating like if you had work to do and you just left your phone in your truck for safekeeping, would they work? Well, my phone is all the way at my house, which is... Uh, 30, 40 feet away, probably. If you're doing long, extended stints of work, it might be nice to be able to listen to the radio or an audiobook or something like that. Mike Morgan on Outdoors with the Morgan uses these quite a bit. If you're doing something long and monotonous. So, today I'm not going to be wearing a face shield. I do have my safety glasses on, putting a hat on, and my ear protection. I can't hear anything. We're also going to be testing a new chain on the stock CS310. Um, it's not entirely stock because it does have the muffler mod on it, but that's it. The chain is a brand new chain. I've never used it before. It's from Hypa. They sent me it actually quite a while ago. Take a peek at that. Um, compared to the, I believe it's the Oregon Advanced Cuts that I normally use, it looks comparable, maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit bigger of a tooth, but it is semi-chisel. We're going to go ahead and give it a shot today. I've never run a Hypa chain before. And like I said, they probably sent this to me two months ago. And I just haven't had... Well, let's put it this way. They asked me if I'd like to try something. And I said, well, I'd like to try a chain maybe. I gave them a list of chains I can use. And they sent me this one. They have chains that would have worked on here as well. But this is all I had. And... I wasn't all that excited about running the 310. But all saws need love and it needs to be run. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a shot on this brush. Perfect opportunity. It does have a little bit of a safety raker here. And um, I think that's good for a brush type cleanup. Also, we're gonna be putting on the uh, Pro Yama chaps. I do have a concern with these. Uh, concern enough that you might wanna consider holding off on purchasing them, but not, not necessarily. I'll kind of explain what the problem is. And it is a slight quality issue for sure. And I have reached out to them and they are saying that they will address it. It would have been nice had it been addressed beforehand, but just like my 562 XP, not everything is addressed before it's sold, right? Unfortunately. And it does have to do with the lightweight nature of these. But I'm going to use them because it's not a safety issue. It's more of a quality issue. All right. Very good. We're going to go ahead and uh, I'm going to start off with this hypo chain here. And I might, I may, I may, that, saw, that ported saw has been run recently. So I may not run that, but I probably will use the 545. And keep in mind, I do have music on in my ears right now, listening to a local radio station. Certainly quite a bit quieter than if I had uh, no ear protection on at all. Let's go get started. serviceable. 
gonna keep cutting with this thing here. This is just a hypo chain, they're fairly inexpensive. So far these have not skipped a beat I'm even further from my home now I'm there because again I'm simulating my vehicle being my phone being in my vehicle but another thing I'm doing is checking the range um, and the effectiveness they're very comfortable on my ears these are the 3m the 3m work tunes I will put a link in my de description to them on Amazon. I received them as a gift from my parents because I anticipate at some point having some tasks coming up where I'm gonna need to spend long hours focused and I wanna be able to utilize, be able to listen to something. This is what I wanna try. Now again, listening to music when you're working is not always the smartest decision, but let's say I have a big string trimming job with that brush cutter, perfect. I do like the face shield, so I don't know. That's kind of the one drawback, depending upon the application. The Hypa chain is cutting well. I don't see anything wrong with it. I'm going to go ahead and clean up some of this brush. I'm, I'm just working by myself today. Boy, that saw with the ported... I'm sorry. That Echo CS310 with the muffler mod is so much better than stock. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and grab the brush. We're going to go ahead and throw it in the brush pile over here. I'm also going to go ahead and put some cardboard in it that um, will help me when I go to light the fire. We got a lot of rain last night. This part I'll go ahead and speed up. I'd say definitely these chaps are less warm than the Husqvarna ones, which is what I was anticipating. I'm still gonna sweat though. A wood chipper would be awesome for something like this. I'd set it up over there and we'd feed all this into a chipper. Whew, look at that pollen. Yeah, wood chipper would be awesome. I'm gonna get in here and cut a little bit more. Clear up the stuff that's close by. Don't you all love a saw that you set it down for 10 minutes, five minutes, and it starts right back up? again.
I'm trying to do here is I'm leaving the stuff that I might use for firewood. And I also have another downfall of the, of the zip tie method. There's something I don't like about it. I'll show you. Let's see if this saw starts up again. Probably run the ported one now with an 18 inch bar. Just have a little bit more limbing, but I want to bend over a little less. This is the ported one and uh, 18 inch bar. These are awesome. They're warm like any they're warm like any earmuffs. But they have not skipped a single beat. My phone is 50 feet away right now, connected to the Wi-Fi in the home. Because I have a metal house, Wi-Fi does not pass out of it. Eventually I'm gonna take care of that. I'm gonna get my Wi-Fi uh, broadcasted outside as well. I do have a background in IT. I wanna share with these pants here, these uh, these Pro Yamas. I wanna share what the one downfall is. And like I mentioned earlier, I've actually reached out to Proyama and said, hey, they're great, but there's one problem with them. And, and this problem may, may be important to you if you are considering them, okay? Um, now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix these because I like them, and, but the point is, is I have to fix them. And they've actually stated that they are going to be, their next batch has uh, some reinforcement of some kind. We'll see what that looks like. So. The seam here, this was originally sewn right there. So as I squatted down, it ripped, okay? My Husqvarna ones have more stitching right here, the way they ought to be, to be honest with you. The fabric did not rip, it's the seam. My body, I have a tendency to rip out the crotch of my pants quite often. That's not an excuse, these are brand new, pretty much a brand new product. So that's not cool. I am gonna fix them though, cause uh, I, I do sew. I'll probably get my wife's sewing machine out here and, uh, and I'm gonna probably just sew some nylon strip on there and just reinforce this section and stitch the heck out of it. Now I am probably gonna bring it up to here though because of the fact that I they didn't have a lot of room right here. I probably ought to be wearing them up higher. Uh, but I, I kind of explained this in another video. I don't know if that part will make it, but my, my, my pants tend to ride down a little bit. Um, but otherwise, these are cool. They are cooler, much, much cooler than the Husqvarna ones. So I would say that's a drawback. The durability of the Husqvarna has been far better, uh, especially because these are brand new. Now, I'm not having any issues in any of these parts right here. I'm not having an issue on any of the straps. Again, this is just, I've used these, uh, I've, I used them string trimming. 
and I've used them here. I actually ripped these when I was putting on my string trimmer um, and a little bit. And, and then um, as I bend down more and more like this, it's tight. So uh, that is a, 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 definite, a definite issue with them. Will they protect my legs? Yes. If these rip all the way up to here, will they still work? Probably. It just shouldn't happen, right? But like I said, I'll probably reinforce this up to here and I'll just sew this. Now, you don't need to be sewing garments if you just buy something. So uh, anyway, again, better than nothing. Uh, cooler, for sure. I'm also very interested in some chainsaw pants because that seems as if that is what most people utilize uh, that, that are in chaps a lot. Um, and so I'll probably eventually go that way, but those suckers are expensive. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this brush, get this piled up. Put my headphones back on. I don't need them because I'm not running the saw. In fact, I'll go ahead and give them a break right here. They're still on and playing. I just don't wanna deal with that at the moment. And there's no reason to wear them at the moment because I'm not running the saw. There is so much pulling on all this stuff. If you've purchased those Proyama chaps and you're not excited about them, keep in mind, because um, some people have purchased them, they are returnable. If you find that they don't fit you correctly or you put them on and you bend down and that rips out because your body is shaped that way or they're just poorly designed, get them returned. You have quite a bit of time with Amazon. I believe there should be might want to check but there should not be an issue with returning them i know on gas equipment there can be an issue returning stuff it's nice not to have earmuffs on those are excellent but while i'm not running a saw i will take them off not that they're uncomfortable com comfortable they're just hot we're going to be building onto that shed here pretty soon that's what this whole thing's about it means i also have to cut down this little tree as well boy a chipper imagine if I had a single complaint about the work tunes, well, actually we'll say two. The work tunes, the sound is not like audiophile quality, no way. They are primarily earmuffs with the ability to listen to, I would say like FM quality radio. They're not high fidelity at all. Now I am streaming an FM radio station, but they just don't have that much audio response. And uh, But again, the purpose is out here, to protect my ear and be able to listen to something. The other issue I see with them, well actually that's not an issue, that's just how they are. They're affordable too, by the way. The next thing is they use USB type A. That's the, looks like a trapezoid. It's the flat bottom angles and then the flat top. Um, I wish that they would be USB-C. Everything else, even iPhones and iPads are now USB-C. Most of your computers are. I would like to see USB-C on them. I'm sure it's on the way. But there's nothing wrong with that, certainly. I just like uniformity and connectors. The next thing is a slight pet peeve. It doesn't really matter, especially once you know how to do it. But you don't, most Bluetooth items, whether it be Bluetooth headsets or any other Bluetooth thing you've ever hooked up, normally you press and hold while it's off, you press and hold the power button until it tells you it's in pairing mode. Those work tunes do not do that. The 3M, the 3M work tunes just simply don't do it that way. I believe you have to power them on and it's like a double or triple click, I believe. I did it on accident. I'm pretty sure it's just like a click, click, click kind of a thing and then they went into pairing. Um, what I don't like about that is you expect basically everything to work by having it off, turning it on, holding it on, and then it goes into pairing mode. So that's a non-standard functionality there. Again, it's not an issue, it's just different. Yeah, we need, to, we need to cut some of this up. I'm not carrying that over, and I got this here too. I'm gonna put my, my ear protection back on. We just threw everything back here because uh, we were cutting the tree and I didn't want it to get damaged. Yeah, the headphones are still playing. Now, let's see if the ported saw just pulls over. Look at the hat. Better than the 562. It's cool though.
Sometimes I'll pull brush when it's larger because I'll cut it up over there by the pile, but over here it'd be hard to get it around obstacles that would get caught up. <clears throat> In the past I would have kept this for firewood, but I'll show you here. I'm wanting to size everything and I don't want to do that because it's going to be a pain in the neck with the zip ties. Let's see if I can pull some of this up without cutting it first. Okay, cool. Oh gosh. Nope. I